Okay, so I wanted to make a quick video just to show you how our drinker system works. These are the Gamebird Engineering Rearing System Sheds. We've got nine in this row here, I think. And the first six are fed from this pressure tank here, this mains header tank. The mains water comes into there, and then the pressure which relies to the rest of the system is set up from there. From that one, we come down here to the mini pressure tank. These are the pressure tanks which are on each shed, and they provide the correct water pressure for the drinker bars inside. It's just a simple tank with a bore valve, but it's on a bracket with a screw and an adjustment so you can adjust the height up and down to alter the pressure, which you might want to do as you raise the drinker bars as the birds grow, and also for initial setup, just to make it very easy to get the pressure right. It's a couple second job. Um, and you do that by the plastic ball inside, which I can show you now. So looking inside the shed, these birds are about four weeks old. There are two 10 foot nipple bars per thousand birds. The water comes in on that black pipe there, feeds down that bar. A pipe connects the back of the two bars and comes back to this end. On this end, there's a stand tube. There's the plastic ball, which shows you how much pressure that you've got on your drinkers. That's just about right to provide enough pressure to the floor. You can altering the pressure by the tank outside provides more or less nipple water at the nipples which stops you getting drips and leaks. There's an air release valve which lets any air in the system out and there's a tap on the bottom as well so that you can flush through, you can put a hose on there and put a bucket underneath to flush the drinker system out. There's a simple toggle adjuster so you can adjust the height of the bars easily as the birds grow and, and for initial setup. It's a one second job, it just slides and locks. And as you can see, pretty much the floor under the drinkers is dry. There's no cleaning required during the rearing cycle. There's no other drinkers in the system at all. The only drinkers that we provide are these two bars. There are no bell drinkers outside in the runs or anything like that. This is all the water that's required all the way through the rearing season. It's a quick and easy system. No maintenance required, no cleaning. Does exactly what it should do, provides the birds with all they need all the water they need up until release at seven weeks, which is released for pheasants.